the ending of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1 quickly approaching, we still have tons of free rewards that you want to make sure you're getting your hands on before the release of Season 2. Along with some pretty insane ones that I'm pretty sure everybody missed out on that you want to make sure you're getting your hands on from the likes of all brand new free skins, free emotes, and much, much more that we're going to be going over here in today's video. So trust me, you want to make sure you're staying tuned. But first, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel right now. This will be your account in exactly 200 days. Do with that information as you will, but obviously if you guys have me picking up anything inside of the Fortnite item shop, do consider using my support creator code YTORA as it greatly supports the channel. Hashtag ad. We have exactly 8 days until the release of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 and there's tons of free rewards available in Fortnite right now. And to kick it off with the obvious, you want to make sure you're getting all of the free skins for all of the brand new Fortnite game modes that we currently have in the game, such as the brand new Rocket Racing skin, which you guys can get by hitting in the Goal Division, which is super easy, and then we obviously have two free skins inside of LEGO Fortnite, obviously being two of the brand new Explorer outfits, one of them available for free inside of the Fortnite item shop, and the other one which you can obtain by connecting a LEGO account to your Epic Games account. So be sure you're claiming those before the end of the season, considering it does look like we're going to be getting all new skins and out of the brand new season of Fortnite. But before we get into some of the better rewards that you want to make sure you're getting before the end of the season, we do actually have what looks to be our very first look at one of next season's brand new ranked rewards. So obviously we've been getting these for every single season now when they do include a back bling, which obviously does change color depending on what division you are in in the ranked game mode. So in Fortnite season OG, we obviously have the rankers tag, which I actually am a big fan of this back bling. And then we did actually have another one here inside of Fortnite chapter 5 season. Season 1, being the Society Emblem Ranker, which is also pretty cool as obviously you can flex what division you're in with these back blings. In the next season, it does look like one of the brand new rewards is actually going to be an entire skin, which we have already actually had a look at as she's actually a brand new NPC on the Fortnite Island right now, being in the form of the brand new Odyssey skin. As inside of the game files, we do know she is actually currently codenamed under Ranked Odyssey, which explains why we did actually have a look at one of our other edit styles, being this gold version, which is actually actually pretty cool and it turns out this is actually going to be for being in the gold division. You can even see some of the other edits though, such as the one for being in elite and also the diamond, the champion division, the platinum division and also the unreal division. This is definitely a pretty cool skin and obviously it's going to be obtainable for absolutely free via the brand new rank rewards. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely will be grinding out to the champ division because I'm a big fan of this orange color. I think it honestly looks pretty insane on the brand new Odyssey skin, which also confirms that this skin will not actually be inside of the next season's battle pass. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be grinding out to get that brand new skin as I definitely know I will be. Now on the topic of the next season, we do obviously have all of the brand new quests available in game right now where you can actually get your hands on a brand new free back bling and also a free loading screen. And this is actually super easy. All you need to do is do the Odyssey and Mosaic quest, which obviously you will need to actually collect the total of 300 pieces of this mosaic in order to complete it. Once you've completed all of those actual pieces, you will automatically unlock this emblem back bling right here, which I have to say is pretty cool as it's obviously the Cerberus head. And by completing all of the Odyssey quests, where obviously you will actually need to find all of the different headpieces for the mosaic, you actually do get the loading screen, which also looks pretty cool. I only have a few days left to actually be able to get this, but it does look like there's actually another reward linked to this that we'll be getting into very shortly. Also, keep in mind, you guys are still actually able to get your hands on the Nana Ringer emote if you haven't already gotten that, which is actually a free emote that was obtainable at the very start of the season. And all you need to do to get this emote is head over to the Epic Games website, logged into your Epic Games account, and then redeem the code BANANA. By doing so, you automatically will get this email on your account, which was obviously tied to the Fortnite storyline as Peely was obviously missing throughout the season. And on that topic, obviously we do know that there's actually brand new takedown quests available in-game where you can actually get your hands on a free loading screen, which you can obviously see Vengeance Jones officially saved Peely. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit boring considering this was obviously revealed to us through a loading screen and nothing to do with the Fortnite storyline here in Chapter 5. But the quests are super easy, just make sure you get all of those done and you will automatically 
automatically get this actual loading screen on your account, which is definitely pretty nice, as obviously it is kind of hinting towards what exactly we could be seeing inside of Season 2. But be sure you're getting your hands on that. But we do also have some other pretty cool rewards as well, which are actually tied to some of the other Fortnite game modes. Which has the brand new FN Festival Pass, where you can actually get some pretty cool emotes that you can use inside of Battle Royale for absolutely free. We do actually have the Backbeat Bow emote, which you can actually use to display whatever drum set you currently have equipped, which is definitely pretty nice if you want to flex whatever you have. And then we do also have the Crab Walking emote, which I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this one, but it's still a pretty cool emote to get on your account for absolutely free. And also the Strap Spin emote as well, which obviously you can use to flex off whatever guitar you currently have equipped in Fortnite Festival. So I would be sure you're getting your hands on all of those brand new emotes, especially as some of them are actually tied to brand new wristband rewards, which you can actually get in for the Fortnite Festival right now, which actually does include a brand new aura for obviously your character inside of that mode, crab walking emo, and also a brand new key tower, which is definitely pretty nice. We've also just gotten brand new information that it does look like we're going to be seeing all brand new rewards added as a part of a brand new collaboration, which is actually going to arrive inside of Season 2 in the form of a brand new event pass, which is actually going to be bringing Avatar The Last Airbender, which is definitely a collaboration I didn't expect to see make its way into Fortnite, but it's definitely pretty cool nonetheless, as it was actually leaked through the Shredder Pass. It's on the final day of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles event, inside of the Shredder menus, you could actually see what looks to be some wrong text that actually appeared on the menus itself. As you can see from this picture right here, it just say gain sheet and books as you complete quests and connect with the elements, which obviously was not the case for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as we were obviously trying to gain ooze. Then even on the actual premium track pop-up, it does say includes the Angau fan access to the bomb track for 1,000 V-Bucks. Well, obviously, this made its way into the game a lot earlier than it was originally supposed to, but obviously, it does confirm that next season we will be seeing this brand new collaboration. And also, what I'm guessing to be all brand new mythic weapons that are most likely going to be coming in the form of the different elements from that show, as obviously, we do know there's different elements, such as air, water, fire, and ice, which definitely could make for a super fun collaboration inside of Season 2. One of the other rewards was also revealed in the form of a brand new glider, as obviously we do know that if you did complete six stages of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles event, you would have gotten the Krang back bling. Well, when you do the exact same thing inside of the brand new Avatar event, you actually will be getting a brand new Appa glider, which is obviously the giant creature that is actually in that show. It's definitely going to make for a pretty nice free reward for grinding out these brand new challenges. You can be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about that brand new collaboration, as obviously it'll be arriving inside of the brand new season. It does look like there's actually going to be another reward which you guys are going to be able to get as a part of the brand new Mosaic quest. We will be getting even more of these quests over the next few days as we've actually been getting tons of them already. And by completing all of the current ones, you obviously do get the free back bling and the free loading screen. It looks like we're actually going to be getting an all brand new emote where you actually will be able to summon a smaller version of the Titan Hand which we do know will be popping up on the island today. Which I definitely do think is pretty funny as obviously it's going to be a smaller version of what's going on on the Fortnite island. This should be unlockable by completing each and every single one of the brand new challenges that we do get over the next few days. I want to make sure you're getting all of those challenges done and collecting each and every single one of the mosaic actual pieces, which is super easy to do, as I literally just ran to different corners of the island and just broke all of the different buildings. This was actually giving me roughly 40 mosaic pieces a game, so this was actually super easy for me to get, so I definitely would recommend you guys do the same if you haven't gotten it yet. And obviously that Titan Hand will actually pop up on the Fortnite Island until the very end of the season, which is definitely pretty cool as all of us as a community will actually have to come together to destroy it. And then Pandora's box will officially drop on the Fortnite Island and then will prepare us for Fortnite Season 2. Now be sure to be on the lookout for that, but it goes without saying there's still some other rewards that you want to make sure you're getting before Season 2. Such as the Season 1 Battle Pass, if you guys haven't finished it and gotten every single reward inside of the base Battle Pass, the quest rewards, and also the bonus rewards, definitely would be sure you're doing so, as obviously those rewards will be completely gone when we do move into Season 2, when we get a completely brand new Battle Pass. 
And also, the secret skin for Pornade C is a Whomping Solid Snake. As you want to make sure you're getting all of his rewards as well, considering he's obviously going to be completely gone and he is a collaboration skin. Firstly, I do think the Chapter 5 C's one Battle Pass was definitely a pretty cool one, and I definitely wouldn't want to miss out on any of those rewards. Be sure you're getting everything done while you still have the chance, as we still only have a few short days left. Also, a little side note, if you guys haven't already, I definitely would be sure you're getting the Fortnite crew right now, considering you actually will be getting two Fortnite crew packs. Obviously, being the Lana Lane outfit and also the brand new cat skin on March 1st, this only applies today, considering the Lana Lane skin will be gone forever. With that purchase, you also do get the Season 2 Battle Pass once it releases, so it's definitely going to be worth your money if you do actually just buy it outright. Plus, you'll also get your 1000 V-Book bonus. Be sure you don't miss out on any of those rewards before Fortnite Season 2 as we're getting super close now. Unfortunately, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. And if you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you have to pick up anything inside of the item shop for yourself, do consider using my support creator code YTRRay as it greatly supports the channel. If you enjoyed the video, do consider dropping a like on it, subscribing to the channel if you are new, and thanks for watching.